Hello Jags fans! Welcome to the Jacksonville News Channel. Here you can find out about everything that happens to our favorite team. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single Jags news. The Jacksonville Jaguars face a challenging offseason as they are currently $22,753,686 over the salary cap after spending a lot of money on free agents in the past two seasons. To address this situation, the Jaguars may consider being active in the trade market to improve their roster while still getting under the salary cap. Jaguars general manager Trent Baalke acknowledges that they have a lot of young players on the team and will have to rely on the draft to build a stronger team. The team will also need to retain as many players as possible. One of the tough decisions that the Jaguars will face is whether to keep defensive lineman Roy Robertson Harris, who signed a three-year, $23.4 million deal with $14 million in guarantees in the 2021 offseason. Robertson Harris was instrumental in the Jaguars' pass rush during the latter part of the season, recording three sacks, seven tackles for loss, and eight quarterback hits in the final five games. However, because of the team's cap situation and Robertson Harris' strong play, his name has become a topic of discussion in and out of Jacksonville. In fact, NFL.com has listed him as one of the top five trade candidates this offseason, alongside big names such as Jalen Ramsey, Darren Payne, Mike Evans, and DeAndre Hopkins. I left your like and turned on notifications so I don't miss a single JAG news. Trading Roberts and Harris pre or post June 1st will create the same amount of available cap space, clearing up $7,800,000 in savings and leaving the team with a $2,333,334 dead cap hit. If the Jaguars decide to release him to save cap space, they will be held accountable for the same financial hit. The question is whether the Jaguars are willing to move on from Robertson Harris to free up cap space. Trading him would be the ideal option as it would net the team draft compensation. But the bigger question is whether they can fill the void he will leave. Robertson Harris is one of the Jaguars' top interior players and one of their best interior pass rushers. If the Jaguars don't retain Arden Key, then Robertson Harris quickly becomes the Jaguars' top interior pass rusher. The Jaguars will need to plan how to replenish the defensive line room if they decide to trade Robertson Harris. Corey Peters and Adam Gotsis, both impending free agents, leave Devon Hamilton and Foley Fatakasi as the only experienced interior defenders in the event Robertson Harris is dealt. In conclusion, the Jaguars have tough decisions to make regarding their salary cap situation, and trading Robertson Harris may be an option. Though he is a good player who performed well in crucial moments, the team will need to weigh the financial implications against the need to replenish the defensive line room. So what do you think about considering the Robertson Harris switch? Leave your opinion in the comments. Is it viable for the Jags to make this move or not? Subscribe to the channel and not to miss this outcome. At any time I'll be back with more news. Until next time.